Hello, my name is Ian Harris and I'm the Technical Manager for eTag Fixins. Today we're going to be doing a product demonstration to show the importance of cleaning the hole when using chemical fixings. As we know, chemical fixings is one of the strongest fixings you can get in any base material, but it's very important to ensure that you adhere to the manufacturer's guidelines with regarding to hole cleaning once the chemical is being installed. How we're going to demonstrate this today is we're going to be drilling three holes into the base material. One of the holes we're going to clean as per the manufacturer's guidelines. One of the holes we're going to ignore and do no hole cleaning. And the third hole, we're going to cut corners and we're going to use a vacuum cleaner. So we're back. Here are our three holes we drilled previously. They now have M10 studs emplaced in them and we've waited our 45 minutes curing time as per the manufacturer's instructions. We're now just going to have a quick recap. This hole here we cleaned as per the manufacturer's guidelines which was to blow four times with the blow pump, brush and then blow four times with the blow pump. This hole here we didn't clean at all. We didn't remove any dust with the blow pump or the brush and in this one here we partially clean the hole and we did that just by using a hoover on its own and what we're going to do now is we're going to use the test meter to pull all three fixings and record the result. Put it over the stud there and we just double check everything's in line. Okay we're zero on there so now we're going to start winding just it's a five kilonewton. Everything's still okay. Okay So that's failed at 41 kilonewtons and it's just had to slip back. It hasn't actually broke the concrete. And you see some slight spalling around here. So this is the hole we didn't clean at all. Okay, and that's failed at 16 kilonewton. It's just pulling itself out the hole. Actually withdrawing the chemical out of the hole. So we got 16 kilonewton only as opposed to 41. And this is the one now where we've only partially cleaned the hole because we think that hoovering is as good as using the blow pump. We're up to 16, so we're slightly better already than the hole that wasn't cleaned at all. And we've reached 26 and it's starting to slip back. I can no longer maintain the pressure on the hydro draws gauge. So it just goes to show that you always must clean the hole as per the recommended instructions by the manufacturer. Mm -hmm. 